deal. Right. We was in Vegas. She said, I come on, I'm talking to her. She jumped out, she was like, duh, duh, duh. and I'm like, wait, what is she doing? That's, <laughs> stuff, that's me and Jay-Z stuff. This ain't got nothing to do with you, girl. Don't come so who wasn't there? It me, I'm talking to Jay. You're talking, talking to Jay. Jay. Yeah. About to jump you. You lucky Solange wasn't there. <laughs> yeah, you lucky Solange, Solange wasn't there. Solange was there. I would have had to uh, reboot. <laughs> <laughs> Solange looked like she popped in that elevator like it was nothing. Y'all, so it looks like Solange has finally achieved her longtime dream of helping Beyonce escape her marriage with Jay Z. Because listen, word on the street says that Beyonce has finally left Jay Z. And it's all thanks to Solange for those who have missed the DJZ's name allegedly got mentioned in his BFF Diddy's ongoing federal recoil case. And the feds are allegedly digging into Jay-Z's past considering the numerous allegations that have followed Jay-Z over the years, including alleged murder and blackmail. Let's just say that things might get real for him. And the streets are saying that Beyonce knows this all as well because she is finally moving forward with divorce arrangements after being with Jay-Z for more than 20 years and married for 16. But y'all can bet that Solange is enjoying every bit of it, because they're saying that she's been begging Beyonce to jump Jay-Z for years, and it looks like she might have finally got her wish, but is Beyonce divorcing so that the feds don't dig into her secrets, and is she really going to testify against Jay-Z? Career, because she said something about you. That's how hateful you guys are. How you step on anybody to stay on the top. Y'all, I'd hate to see the Nose woman conspiring to one up Jay Z and help Beyonce escape from him. That's starting to get clearer and clearer that Jay Z is going down with Diddy and these ongoing Rico case. Because word on the streets is that the feds are closing in on Jay's and fast. And he's about to get that Diddy treatment from the feds. Diddy's ongoing reco case with Homeland Security is threatening to swallow even more celebs than Diddy and his sons. And the first name on his hit list allegedly is Jay-Z. But it's not that much of a surprise y'all Jay-Z's name would come up in any case considering that he's been Diddy's BFFs for so many years. Interestingly though a couple of weeks ago, there were reports that Beyonce was planning to leave Jay-Z and move on with her life. But we didn't know why at the time, we didn't really know about Diddy's case with the feds or the RICO investigation. And we just thought that he was dealing with some current recent civil lawsuits that were filed by producer Lil Rod. And it wasn't until Homeland Security raided his homes that we knew that this was a subject of a federal investigation. And it was only a few days after that that we found out that there was a RICO charge. But this explains why Beyonce has been trying to leave him, because the last thing she wants to do is be tied up in that situation. Now, if you're wondering why Jay-Z is tied to it, it's because there has been talk for a long time about how Jay-Z and Diddy are allegedly tied up in the same shenanigans. Now, at first, it was just unconfirmed rumors flying about on social media. But then Miss Jaguar came out to claim that the two men were involved in some really shady stuff. No. About Jaguar right. But the fact is that nobody has ever come out to sue her for lying slander or defamation, and she has been proven right almost every single time. So again, it looks like she might be right again in this case, because now that the feds are involved, an investigation into Jay-Z is imminent, and y'all can bet your bottom dollar that Miss Queen B is not about to stick around and go down with this sinking ship. Now, like I said before, she's already had a solid plan in place allegedly to end her marriage before us normal people even suspect it. And in typical Beyonce fashion, she has gone over and beyond to keep it private because she knows that the media will be all over the case and story if they find out. And she does not want to deal with all that drama not with her new album and impending world tour. So yeah, it sounds exactly like something Beyonce would do. See, you all know that she never tells us nothing about her life. 
and that's how she wants to handle this divorce allegedly h well i guess that would explain why she's been going everywhere on these award shows thanking jay-z and sending love to jay-z just to keep us off the sniff of a divorce while blogger storm monroe was first to spill the tea about how beyonce was making plans to leave jay a couple of months back and this caused a stir on social media is that they've been living separate lives for a very long time so they together but they live in separate and part of the reason why they have or they're already living separate lives and we may actually see one of the biggest divorces in hollywood is because jay-z is up next to be exposed and it's only so much of these stories that jay-z you know he can pay off or he can block he won't be able to stop this and she knows it and he knows it too um as far as who's gonna be the breakout victim slash story i i don't, I don't know yeah i might have to ask you something i don't know but i'm just letting you know that once that comes out and jay-z is exposed for his nefarious past you're gonna see beyonce before so okay and she's gonna she may or may not do an interview but you may you you're gonna um their publicist is gonna release something she's gonna say oh the carters have been separated for some time they built this beautiful life blah 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 blah, blah. storm's comments set the internet on fire but as crazy as it seems he wasn't the first to talk about how jay-z was being set up to get the did treatment with multiple lawsuits and people coming out to expose how he is just as bad as diddy and maybe even worse than he is but he has been very careful not to get exposed because he knows just how damaging it's going to be now Jaguar WGHT did us a favor last year and she did not mince her words John Carter is worse uh -oh. oh man he's smarter he's patient he's not sloppy mm -hmm. This pussy been lining up people he calls friends and stepping to the side while they get hit by the guillotine for 30 fucking years. Jay-Z been up to that. Could possibly be worse than we know about Diddy. I mean Diddy aka the diddler that y'all lovingly call him. He's been exposed for essaying women and trafficking and a whole lot of other crazy stuff. So how could Jay-Z possibly be that bad that Beyonce is planning a dip? But like they say birds of a feather loop together. And it looks like these two might be flying high in these guys. Because listen, the things that we're finding out about them are just insane, and it makes sense why the feds are now on Jay-Z's trail. Too, I mean, thinking back the friendship between Jay-Z-Y and Diddy, it kind of makes sense. Now, see now, before this, we thought that the worst thing about them was that he cheated on Beyonce, and then tried to act like it didn't matter. But as it turns out, his cheating habits have landed him in some pretty tricky situations that allegedly could include murder. Yay, all let's break it down, cuz I know it sounds crazy now. We all remember in 2011 when Beyonce announced that she was pregnant with Blue Ivy and she almost broke the internet. But what we didn't know at the time was that Jay-Z also had a side piece at that same time who was threatening to expose him and humiliate him to ruin his public image and embarrass Beyonce. According to reports, Jay-Z and Kathy were reportedly involved before he had even started dating Beyonce. But he ultimately chose to commit to Beyonce cause I mean it's Beyonce now. Do you remember Jason Lee in his recent threats to reveal some damaging information about Beyonce? Well did he is now suggesting that this might be connected to Kathy's untimely passing. Why? Because Kathy and Jason Lee were tight buddies and Jason was the one who first spilled the tea about the affair. Now I'll keep this Jason Lee tea in mind because we're going to circle back to that in a little bit. But here's where the story gets even crazier. Kathy was so upset at Jay-Z for blindsiding her with the news of a baby that she reached out to a reporter, claiming that she was ready to do a tell-all interview where she would talk about her affair with Jay-Z. But it goes without saying that she would have made him look very bad, especially since he was married to Beyonce and she was pregnant with their first child. According to reports, she planned to leak as an act of revenge for Jay-Z blindsiding her with the baby news. And the public was more than eager to find out about the tea regarding her and Jay-Z. But in a shocking twist of events, Kathy passed away less than 24 hours later.